Good morning. Good morning. Day two. Day one yesterday, um, I did a waiting and I I deleted all the footage by mistake. Always with the phone. I'm not I'm not sure. Um and the thing is it was hilarious. Even the squirrel got involved. Um yeah, but I've lost all the footage. Um yeah. And I was absolutely bricking it. Um I was really worried that I've actually put weight on and haven't lost any weight. Um But yeah. So this week is the uh concoction week of instant coffee and lemon. And um let's weigh in. Right, what we got? What we got? Interesting. So yesterday, <laughs> the scale the scale said um, I lost one kilogram. Today it's saying I put on one kilogram. Um, so we said I haven't lost any weight. Or maybe it's because of the dinner I ate last night. No, my dinner weight don't weigh one kilogram and the water. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I haven't. I haven't um, emptied my bowels yet. Interesting. But according to the scale, I've lost a little bit of weight. Nothing much. But yeah, let's see what happens this week um, with the coffee and lemon. Alright, let's try this. Coffee, <laughs> lemon. Alright, so apparently, instant coffee. Half of lemon. So apparently, uh, the coffee um, it breaks down all your food into fuel, and the lemon apparently um, it boosts the uh, metab <laughs> um, the metabolism um, in your body. So let's see what happens. Right, lemon, lemon, lemon. Lemon, 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 lemon. I can't find any of the um, apparatus that we've got in the in the house. Um, what this lemon squeezer and all kind of stuff. I can't find any of them. So hey, right, we do it in the gym, right? So should have the strength to squeeze le uh, lemon by hand. But anyway, that's done. Let's make a mess on the side so my wife can kill me. Right, one teaspoon of instant coffee. And apparently, they said to boil the water and let it cool for a while so it should be not too hot but warm. Yesterday when I took this, 20 minutes in, I it was an internal heat and I couldn't stop sweating. And yesterday was not a hot day, but there's something about this, it just builds up some kind of internal heat and afterwards I was so hungry. So apparently you don't eat um, 30 to 40 minutes after having, having this. So you let it work in the system for about 30, for half an hour to 40 minutes. That 
I taste wonderful. Sugar, honey, ice, tea. Okay. I'm going to finish this. <clears throat> I'll see you for breakfast. <coughs> hmm. So, I'm doing a second recording again. I've actually recorded this already, and I've got to re-record because I'm on my medication, which makes me drowsy, and I slur my words, and I mumble, like my wife said. Um, if I was a mumble rapper, I would be the greatest of all times. Um, yeah, so, sometimes life is an egg. Or a supreme being. Now, that analogy um, I will explain another time. Um, yeah. So, life goes on. So, I wanted to sit in my office and have breakfast, but I can't because the foxes messed up my back garden. So, I'm going to have just two muffins and some water and get on with my day. Um, yeah, so the foxes came into my back garden and pooed everywhere so now i've got to clean um for me green space is very 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 important i'm lucky to be in this back garden just to enjoy and to replenish um enjoy wildlife um and guys if you got you know especially during the heat uh, summer months and that kind of stuff put out water for wildlife please yeah they will appreciate it and you know, some of them actually help your garden, some do not. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, green spaces are very important. It helps you also, for me, to uh, re. Uh, sorry, post kicked in again. To rejuvenate. Now, yesterday, I lost a recording, but I couldn't say the word rejuvenate um, because of my medication. And what I, what I was told or explained by a professor um, at Warhampton University who specialized in brain injury, so big up Dr. Brandt, um, she explained that my medication, um, although it targets the pain receptors in the brain, it also causes impairment with cognition because it also interferes with the prefrontal cortex that's important for exec executive functioning so yes so um i gotta be very careful when i'm on these medication so yeah i'm gonna have i'm gonna get on my day and see you guys at lunchtime um so i'm having some um wait let see drink and a cheese um, sub. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking, shall I take the win <laughs> from waiting on Sunday, which um, got deleted? And I, yes, I will. One kilogram loss. I'm not going to take in, I am not going to. I count the way in this morning because it doesn't count. Um, I've tried um, these recovery apps and it found stuff from five years ago, but the stuff that I did, that I needed, um, I just can't find it. So it's gone. Oh, anyway, so. Sometimes you're an egg, sometimes you are a supreme being. If, if anyone knows what that means, comment. Um, no one from my BMC group, that's cheating. Um, but yeah, so sometimes you're an egg, sometimes you're a supreme being. If someone or anyone you all know um, or can guess what that means comment um, yeah and I'll give you a hint it also has to do with lemons 
anyway, um, I know sometimes I talk about mental health and food, and today <laughs> I went shopping and it, yeah, it reminded me that there's a link. So I'm in a grocery and white privilege do exist. Um, this woman behind the tills, um, black, well, black uh, woman behind the tills. And this white customer, female, want, or should I say Karen? I'm not sure. She wanted to know the cost of her items. And what she did, she walked past the screens, behind, remember staff, at the checkout, and was looking at her screen. Now, not from a distance, up on her back of her neck, breathing out her neck, looking at the screens. And I can tell that the, that the, um, the checkout lady, the cashier was uncomfortable. Now, I just, I'm just thinking, if that was me or a person of color, yeah, most likely they were of course security. Now remember, there are screens, yeah, at the checkouts because of COVID and because of monkeypox, right? So I don't know what she was thinking without, having, without asking it's okay to invade someone's personal space. And this is cheap to, to, you know, go behind the counter at the tills at a supermarket and, you know, go into, into the checkout, um, cashier area. And remember that, you know, it's, it's a narrow, um, entry to get into the cashier, um, where she sits in and, and, um, ring up all the stuff. So I was like, okay, okay. And then from there, I went to the petrol station. And as I'm leaving, this white lady came in the no entry um, part of the petrol station into the forecourt and almost collided with the front of my car. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, sometimes we make these mistakes, but the look and the attitude was get out of my way. You know, you in my way, move. And I'm thinking, I don't understand this mentality. Now, I'm not saying that only white people do it. I mean, there's some, you know, come on, some of us black people do these stupid things as well. But the difference <laughs> is, you know, um, yeah, we get into trouble, you know. Um, but, yeah. So the link with food is, after that, I felt like having something to just calm me down. Like, I don't know, chocolate muffin. Um, pastry or, you know. But, you know, like I said, you know, it's the emotional um, distress just to calm you down. And I was good. I said, no, um, I'll calm myself down. I would not go in. I'm not going to, um, to succumb to these maladaptive um, behavior. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to my men's group later. I might record some stuff there and um, Black Men Consortium. And, yes. So, there is. Right, we're here. The Mosaic Building. Right, so let's get in there, BMC, got our improv on, I'd like to thank Alex 
I'm Lisa from Food Heroes for providing us this evening with snacks. God bless. BMC um, Black Bent Consortium. We had so much stuff there to eat. Um, <laughs> I had some pastries. Um, yeah, my best of choices. I only had two, two pastries, but still. Um, so no, I got to thank uh, Lisa and Alex, uh, Food Heroes, for supplying the. Um, the BMC uh, with with food uh, tonight um, that also allowed members who were struggling with um, the high cost of living um, to be able to take food home so thank you um, and also for food hero Delilah um, to continue supporting and helping us as well um, when it comes to healthy uh, eating yeah so the funny thing is the egg and the supreme being uh, came up again tonight um, in in the group um, so yes um, I'm not gonna give it away uh, but it is um, something to take with you um, so Yes, if you guys can, can um, tell me what the egg and the supreme being has anything to do with life, comment and let me know. Have a good night. <laughs> Gonna set this place on fire Burn it down entirely Say Babylon for your time has expired Brimstone, thunder and lightning I'm gonna set this place on fire Burn it down entirely Say Babylon for your time has expired Brimstone